Hello, hello everyone. This is D from the Blank Spot. And yes, I am back with another quick, quick, quick tutorial. So today um, I'm just gonna run through real quickly on how to run a um, ink purge file um, through your printer. Um, you know, sometimes you may have, uh, it could be some lines or maybe you have a color that's not printing. Um, I suggest um, before you do too many print head cleanings, on your your uh, Epson printers to do a um, a print purge. Okay, you're gonna purge the ink, and a good way to do that is to print a ink purge file through your um, through your printer. All right. So in order to do that, I am going to share my screen. Okay. First thing I'm going to share is um, in order to get the print, print purge file, you can just simply Google uh, ink um, purge file, okay? And click on images and you can see you have all of these different um, files here. Um, of course, for sublimation, um, you're gonna have the uh, four colors, okay? So this would be the ideal print that you want to print are saved to your um, computer um, so that you can print out. Okay, so we basically just purging the ink through to see if we have any lines, maybe getting the air out um, before we do too many print head cleans. Okay, so go to Google, um, you know, Google uh, ink purge print file, something like that, and you will see all of these different files come up. You want to choose the one with the four colors, uh, preferably this one right here. Um, if your printer does not print um, gray, then you don't choose the gray, okay? You're gonna choose the one with the four colors, okay? All right, and so what I'm gonna do now is I am going to show you how I go in and print. Of course, I am a Silhouette Studio girl. Okay, so I print everything that I print from Silhouette Studio. So what I did was I went and saved the file, brought it into my Silhouette Studio, sized it for eight and a half by 11. As you can see it right here, all of my colors are there. And basically all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go and I'm gonna print this out. Um, when I do this, I normally just print it out on regular paper because I don't wanna mess up my sublimation paper. So of course you go to uh, file print. Um, and as you can see, it came up and it's really big because the last thing that I printed um, was 13 by 19. So you see all that white space. Don't worry about that, you just click print. So I'm gonna print this on the printer that I feel like I'm having issues with the prints, um, the 7210. I'm gonna go to my preferences. I already have a preference set up for eight and a half by 11. So I'm just gonna simply go to my preferences, click on um, eight and a half by 11, and I'm just gonna print. I'm just gonna click okay, and then go here and print. Okay, okay. So basically that is going to print out um, all of these colors and it's gonna kind of purge the print. And from here, you would be able to see you know, hey, what's going? Is anything going on with my 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 um, magenta? Okay, is anything going on with my yellow or my black? Okay, um, and then it'll kind of give you um, idea um, of maybe what's going on. Sometimes you may need to do this to kind of move the ink, especially if you have not used your printer in a while. I suggest doing this before you do too many print head cleanings. Okay, let me stop my share real quick. All right. So yes, I would print a um, purge file before you do uh, too many print head cleanings because what happens is if you do too many print head cleanings, you're there, there's what's called a maintenance box. And every time you do a print head cleaning, the excess ink goes into that box. And once that box is full, you have to replace the box, okay? And I believe for the um, some of the Epson Eco tanks, maybe that smaller one, I think the 2720, I don't even think that there is a replacement for the um, maintenance box on that one. Don't quote me on that, but I don't think that there's a replacement for that. So as I stated, just a tip, um, if you see some um, imperfections in your prints, um, you could have a clog. 
I recommend doing this process right here, run an ink purge file through before you do too many for hair cleanings, okay? That'll save your maintenance box, all right? So that's a quick tip on um, you know, purging your ink through your printer. Um, this is D from the blank spot. We're located 9332 Notch Road, uh, Sweet C, Columbia, South Carolina. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. We're always gonna be on here uh, giving out some, um, some tips um, tips and tricks uh, for your sublimation, your, your workforce printers. Uh, I'm a workforce girl. I love workforce printers. I'm not too fan of Ecotank. So uh, I have a lot of experience with the workforce uh, printers when it comes to sublimation. So make sure that you subscribe, turn on your notifications, and make sure that you are following us on all of our other social media handles, uh, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. And um, be sure that you come back for some more tutorials. This is D and I'm out.